Let's start off with a look back at yesterday's gorgeous weather. I hope you had a chance to get outside and enjoy. We hit 71 degrees in Lima, but there were a lot of spots that made it to the middle 70s. It was 75 for the high in Columbus yesterday. The warmest spot hit 76 over towards Zanesville. We hit 75 out towards Cincinnati and 72 in Defiance. So, wow, I wish every day could be that nice in the forecast. Now, changes, unfortunately. They are on the way as we go forward in this forecast. Now today, it's not all bad news. We'll actually see some decent weather before things do go downhill. This morning, a little cooler. Temperature in Bell Fountain at 37 degrees, 43 in Lima, 45 in Defiance. The reason why we're cooler this morning is because the winds are pretty light. The skies have cleared out as well, but that clear sky is not going to last very long. You'll see a pretty nice sunrise this morning with just a few high clouds working in. Could see some nice pink and red hues to the sky, so would love to see your sunrise pictures. But things, again, will start to change today. This morning, we'll see increasing clouds from the south and west. The rain that we're watching is still pretty far away and near Paducah, Kentucky, down towards the Ozarks, Memphis, Tennessee. And this is all lifting its way north and east. So with time, that is going to arrive here later on this afternoon. But we do get a lot of dry weather today before this does move in. The models have been kind of slowing us down just slightly. So here's a look at 2 p.m. Still mostly dry at that time. The rain just starting to enter our south and west counties. But by the evening commute, as you're heading home from work, 5 o'clock, we will be looking at scattered showers. Nothing too heavy and certainly nothing severe. And we're still not looking at very much wind at, yet at this time. So things still, again, not too active. But as we go through the evening, things start to change. The rain will become heavier. 9, 10 o'clock this evening, a few thunderstorms are better than there as well. The red and the orange, that signifies heavy rain. So some heavy downpours moving through the area. The winds will continue to pick up. And the strongest winds actually come after the heavy rain moves through. So by 2 a.m., we're working in a dry slot. The heaviest rain will start to move out. But the winds are just going to continue to pick up from 2 a.m. through sunrise Friday. That's the strongest period of winds for us. We'll see a couple lingering sprinkles tomorrow morning. But by the afternoon, we actually get a few peaks of sunshine. So let's talk about those winds. Again, during the day today, it's not windy at all. In fact, I only have winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour today. So the, the wind is not a concern during, day, during the daylight hours today. But it's tonight towards the mid and late evening, 9, 10, 11 p.m. Wind gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. But it's after midnight, like I said, after that heavy rain moves through, the winds pick up. We'll see gusts by 3 a.m., nearing 50 miles per hour all across the area. And there could be some isolated spots, especially down south, that could see a brief gust up to 60 miles per hour, which is why there is a marginal severe risk in place, because that would be in severe criteria. So we could see some isolated power outages. Of course, if you have any dead trees or dead tree limbs, they could be knocked down with these winds. We'll still be very windy tomorrow morning. The strongest winds start to pass us by sunrise and will slowly start to decrease those winds through the afternoon as gusts do decrease by the afternoon below 30 miles per hour. So for today, 69 degrees, increasing that cloud cover. Again, no rain until mid to late afternoon. We will see showers and eventually some thunderstorms by the mid and late part of the evening. Those thunderstorms give way to some very strong winds throughout the late part of the night. And then as we head into tomorrow, we'll see some peaks of sunshine by the afternoon. Very windy. Those winds will start to gradually decrease in their strength at 53 degree high, so a little bit cooler there. But then Saturday, 67 degrees, partly sunny, looking beautiful. We'll have rain and storms Saturday night, but clearing on Sunday with a cooler high of 53 degrees.